Hey everybody, Wandering Kid here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Space Chem. We're currently on a Tropos station and we're going to be taking on Accidents Happen. And just after that, we'll be going after the boss for Atropos. So when Accidents Happen, we have to take Phosphorus or Silicon, 50-50, and get an output of Phosphine or Silane, which is uh, Silicon H4. So we've either got PH3 or SiH4. Our other input is going to be a bonded H2. First hint, one Waldo drives, the other one hangs on to its spare H when it's phosphine. Second hint, both of these molecules need to absorb the first H2 before it does anything anyway. Hint three, a flip-flop will probably be necessary for the final bonding to get in and out for the fourth hydrogen. All right, let's get going. First step, I'm going to move these bonders into an awkward place. This will make sense shortly. So, we'll stick blue out of the way for the moment. Actually, we'll just hide blue completely. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Next up, red's coming in. It's going to do an in. It's going to do a grab. It's going to do an in on beta. It's going to unbond beta. It's then going to bond twice. First, it's going to grab this hydrogen, and then it's going to grab this one. Now, once it's passed, it's going to do another in on beta. The problem is, is, okay, now what? Now you've got this thing hanging off the bottom. You can't really turn and twist. You've run out of room. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little uh, driving trickery here. We're going to bring this in. We're going to unbond our hydrogen. And now we are going to grab this one as we go by. So here, let me show you what this looks like so far. Unbond, grab. Oops. There we go. Okay, I've got my bonders out of order. These two are taking priority. Let's try that again. Well, that's still taking priority. Okay. I want these guys to have priority. What's going on here? There we go. Okay, so now we've taken priority and we know we have silicate. If it's silicate, or, yeah, if it's uh, silicate, we want to go to silane, which means we're going to want to come back in and grab hydrogen. Okay, so we know when we've got silicate we're going to want to take it make a detour we're going to grab silicate if it's silicon come up this way and come back in and grab our last bond by using a flip-flop here we'll be able to escape drop it chip omega and we're good to go we'll deal with how to deal with the phosphine here in a moment so this is what this looks like. We grab those bonds, we hook that hydrogen in, we flip-flop, we grab that, and off we go. We're out of here. Simple enough. Now, if we have phosphine, now we have to deal with our spare hydrogen here. So on phosphine, we sink. When it sinks, blue knows it's good to go. It's going to come up this way. Do a grab drop. And we need to make sure it's good and out of the way. Oh, where can we put it that's out of the way? We're coming through here with atoms. We're coming through here with atoms. Uh, they're really uh, over here. Is pretty much the only out of the way we've got. So we'll go there and sink. And we'll flip-flop it back into play to drop it off when um, silica comes through again. Hold on, I had this grand plan and it's not working. One second. Okay, my problem here is that I'm always bringing in an extra hydrogen on this loop. I don't always want it to do that unless I know it's silicon, unless I know I'm bringing in 
silicon. Or if I need it for phosphorus. So coming through, this is how silicon looks. Or yeah, this is how silicon looks. Now this is I want silicon to go through this loop. This works for me. But I need phos um phosphorus to go through a different setup. Okay, unlock red. We're going to change this. If you're silicate, you're going this way. And you're going to complete my build. Done. If you're not, you're coming this way for me. I've kind of painted myself into a corner against the edge here. Ah, I know what I'll do. So, if I've painted myself into a corner on silicate... Alright, let's start blue here. We'll have it drop. We'll tell blue that I want it to get going, and I'll have it wait until blue's done. Blue... will now... sync... bring in a beta... Unbond it. Grab our silicate. Let me see, I've grabbed it. It's on the bottom and on the right. If I turn it this way, it'll be in the up and the right. We'll come over here. I'll bond once. Okay, I'm built correctly at this point, but I've got a hydrogen here in my way. Which means I need to reverse out. So I need to reverse out, put in my flip-flop, and get out of the way. We'll come up and over. We'll drop it. We'll ship our psi. I'll come this way. Grab our um, other hydrogen. I need to step out of the way. So we'll come over here. I don't, that kind of works. I'll flip-flop back out. Come this way, if I have a new one. And then come back in. That should work out as long as I keep my sink straight. That's not going to keep my sink straight, unfortunately. Alright, hang on a second. I need two sinks down. I want to hit only two sinks down here. The problem is, is I got to be out of the way of red coming through with its hydrogen. So I got to park down here until red tells me that it wants blue back. Okay, if I've done this right, let me show you. Silica comes through, grabs what it needs, and off it goes. Okay, we got another silicate. A third silicon. Okay, there's our phosphorus. Come through, grab two. We know it's silicon, we drop and we tell red to get in here. It comes through, rotates, grabs a bond, off it goes. Drops it and kicks it. Comes down here, grabs a hydrogen and steps out of the way. Next phosphorus comes in. I've done this right, we come in, we drop that, we grab that, rotate. Come in, grab the other one, and off it goes. Okay. Now, can I thin this up a little bit? This blue tends to get busy. Ooh, no, that doesn't work. It's almost perfect, but not quite. Okay, where is the problems? 
So the problem is, is on the second time it comes through, I want it down here. Okay, that's fine. The first time it comes through, it grabs, it sinks, and then it does its thing. The second time, I want it to flip-flop that way. Yeah, that should work out better. Let's get rid of the silicons. Okay, first phosphorus. Pulls blue to get its act together. So it grabs that, hits the flip-flop, brings in the second phosphorus. Now we drop that off, snag it, pick it up, and go through. And what's happening here is, is I need one more sink. Here. To release red. So the question is, no, I can't use one here, but I could do one there to let red loose. If I sink here to let red loose, I know that I'm getting out of the way. Yeah, that should work out. This one will let red loose. I grab it, and I park. I come back in, drop as expected, go through the process again. Let red loose, and I flip-flop back into my holding position, where I do my in and my out. There we go, that works out better. And this is out of the way for uh, Selene builds. Excellent. Now what I'd like to do, just for a little bit of optimization, is figure out when can I let red loose on this process. So if I'm grabbing here, and this is my in, I've got one, two, three steps. I think that'll let me out of the way. Just enough time. Okay. Saves me a cycle. All right, let's see what kind of time I get. 556 cycles, 58 symbols, but that's okay. All right, so that's got accidents happen done. And now we have the boss fight. Don't fear the Reaper. I think we'll take that one on on our next match. So as always, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.